Hey guys, welcome back to my channel at Theatrically Jerry. My name's Jerry. Today I'm going to be showing you how to connect a Nutrick brand Ethercon connector to a already pre-installed um, Cat5e Ethernet cable. So uh, for the sake of this video, I just have a small patch cable here. Um, like I said, it's Cat5e. Uh, it doesn't really matter too much um, what kind of Cat5 cable you use. Um, if the jacket's too big, Nutrick does include um, an, ad an adapter for it. It does say it fits up to um, eight, 8 millimeters, so you do have a little bit of uh, playroom. Nutrick sends their their brand adapter out in a Ziploc bag. There are off brands for the um, new trick Ethernet. Uh, so I went ahead and bought the actual name brand because it is their connection system. So I felt like giving them the money since they kind of came up with it or at least perfected it. So I bought theirs. It does come in this really nice Ziploc bag. And you'll know it's authentic because it has the Nutrick name all over the bag too. Uh, what, I'll, what I like about this is it's sealed. So when you do need to use it, um, Nutrick has made it very easy for you to just uh, rip this little tag off here. So this rips off and now your bag's open. This particular connector is the NE8MX Ethercon Cable Connector Carrier. So, there are several different versions Nutrick offers. This particular kit I wanted because it allows you to put the Nutrick connector onto a already pre-installed Ethernet cable. And I have a lot of those, whereas they do offer another kit that you can install, but you have to have a Ethernet cable that's not already built. So this one allows you to do it. So ease of use with this. I like this um, particular one, especially because, as stated, I have a lot of patch cables. So anyways... I'm going to go ahead and empty this, show you guys what is included with a authentic new trick um, Ethercon connector kit. So, of course you have this, and I believe it's zinc alloy, so this is metal. It feels nice. The inside of it, I don't know if you can see, uh, it has a little cut out of an Ethercon connector. So it actually has a the shape of your RJ45 cable and you're not going to be able to screw this up because it's kind of keyed that way. So putting this in is pretty easy. As you can see, uh, this top part right here is where this part goes that you depress. Um, and I'm going to show you that in a minute. But anyways, there's that. There is two different boots for the Ethernet cable or your RJ45. So... This one's the standard one, and it basically just wraps around it and snaps shut. The um, one thing I don't like about the new trick kit is this snap shut part, because it's, it takes a long time to figure out how to get it to snap shut, but that's one boot. They include a larger boot, just in case your Ethernet cable or your RJ45 is bigger. So there's a bigger adapter. And this one's actually easier to put on. It just snaps together. Um, this is a carrier. So 
your cable is going to slide onto this and this what this does is when you um, screw this tight it actually is putting pressure applied pressure on this and it's pushing against your RJ45 and that's what's keeping it in place so it won't move um, We're going to go ahead and show you how to actually assemble this, and it's relatively easy. The first thing that you're going to want to do is put this boot on. It's a strain relief boot for the RJ45, and like I said, the one thing I hate about this kit is putting this on because it is so difficult to do for me anyways um, I don't know if you guys have problem with problems with it or if there's some sort of a, a hack but I've been making these for a while now and they're not that great um, connecting but anyways I have it on now as you can see that little tab right here clipped in so that's clipped in now some people would just say okay let's slide this uh, fastener down here but I prefer to go the other direction because it will wrap nicely around the boot on the connector so I actually go on the other end and you're gonna want to put the wider end first and then you're going to slide it all the way down your RJ45 patch cable so we're gonna go all the way down back to the boot end that we just installed now I do this because this slides over nicely over the boot like that see and it won't pull forwards any further and it actually keeps the boot from like spinning around or falling off um, it applies a little pressure to it but anyways slide this all down now um, your boot and this connector because you're gonna need some more room for this and as you can see this actually has a cutout and the cutouts to slide over your RJ45 cable so this actually has two ends one's a, a almost arrow shaped end that goes in that direction and then there's a wider end here and this goes in this direction so you can just slide this over. Um, in this particular instance, I would suggest cutting the actual boot off of your already made cable, but I like to save my cables and I don't really find it necessary to cut that off. Um, this does slide just fine. So this part that you just installed with the opening, that goes on the bottom and this is your top because your little levers there and this slides up and Nutrick recommends breaking this tab off but I don't because I like to save my cables so I just push it down and then I slide this black um, thing up carrier up as far as I can and it actually holds the little uh, tab down so I don't have to ruin that and the next thing you're going to want to do and it's the final step is put this zinc alloy casing your new trick connector either kind con connector on and like I said it's keyed so you can't screw it up so um, this part right here with the flat part they did this on purpose is actually to show you that it's the top and also 
that is the connector and that connects um, to the EtherCon connector. There's a little push button almost like DMX. So um, you're gonna go ahead and put this on and that's actually gonna be your top part. Now it's going to be a little snug because actually let's see this part right here this is the bottom of it that's actually gonna slide over this so this part is actually going where the tab is um it's kind of backwards what i said earlier reverse that um so just push that in it's going to look like this and then you can slide your boot up and you can also just go ahead and tighten this to the either con uh, the metal either con housing this little connector Um, you're gonna just twist it until you can't anymore You don't want to break it, but you do need to apply pressure to it so I Have it twisted as far as it's going to go physically go and As you can see the um, bootstrap it's not going anywhere. This isn't going anywhere your Ethernet RJ45 cables not going anywhere. Um, your RJ45 jack right here is not supposed to be sticking out, nor is it really flush. It's actually sitting just a little bit back from this lip, so make sure it's doing that. And then you have a either con connector to plug into any of your consoles or fixtures that require a either con connector um, as you might you may or may not know uh, you don't actually have to have this you can literally just plug your RJ45 into an either con port but this allows it to not pull out. So this is just basically like a safety feature because you don't want this to pull out during a show and ruin your show. So this is just one way of doing that. And um, you can also do the same thing to the other end. But if you're going to be doing two ends, which right now I only need one end, so I'm only doing one. But if you're going to be doing two ends, just remember that you're going to want to slide this, um, this thing on first. Actually, if you do use this, you can... Um, Put this on and just slide it down along with your bootstrap so for this end and it'll be fine um, like I said new trick does make several different either con connectors so make sure you buy the correct one uh, this one featured in the video is their any 8 MX and this is a kit they also offer this in black. If you don't like silver, you can get the black version of this. And this will fit Cat6 cables. Um, just make sure they're not overly large in, in diameter, but I have Cat6 and this does fit on it. You can also um, check your console make sure that it is 
new trick capable because some consoles look like they have an EtherCon connector, like my uh, light console, the Victory 3, for instance, and it's not actually an EtherCon connector, and this doesn't fit on it. So um, there are different brands of EtherCon connectors, and they're special. They have keys in them, as you can see. There's a key and a key here, and the key is just a cutout, so you can't put it in the wrong way. This doesn't fit on my console. So I actually have to order um, a different brand if I want to use this on my console because the new trick won't work on it. There are overseas um, brands that come on overseas, overseas light consoles and they look like new trick and they're not. And so don't buy those if you think you have that. And if you're not sure, uh, they usually have it printed right on the jack, what it is. So, that um, per particular uh, light console does have it printed, and it doesn't say New Trick. It says the other company. So, don't get confused with that. Also, New Trick has different EtherCon jacks. So, this won't mate with their RJ45 uh, Cat6 connector. They do have a Cat6 connector now. So the Cat6 uh, chassis won't mate with the Cat5 connector. So make sure you also know if you have the Cat5 or Cat6 um, new trick port or what they're calling their chassis. And also make sure that it matches this and you'll be good to go and you're gonna have a safe and uh, effective connector I actually prefer to have it this way it's just easier to plug in than just a bare RJ45 jack um, so yeah if you're looking to do this do it I recommend it thank you for watching my channel at theatrically Jerry if this video helped you in any way Go ahead and like this video. You can share it. I also recommend subscribing to my channel at Theatrically Jerry if you enjoy anything um, that has to do with stage lighting or DJ lighting and equipment, atmospherics. Um, I do review a lot of no name brand stuff just to help the manufacturers get that information out to you guys as customers. I do like to review no-name brand stuff, so I review that. I also review name brand stuff. As you can see, I'm reviewing a new trick right now. Um, so it's a little mixture of both, but I like to lean on the off-brand uh, DJ and lighting equipment, especially overseas equipment, because a lot of it is really good stuff, and I think you guys would enjoy having it in your future rigs. So, like I said, I appreciate you guys for following, and stay tuned for more videos.